suicide rates have increased in Gaza. Young men, particularly aged 18 to 30, make up 75% of suicides. Uh, the wars really exacerbated the mental health conditions, and we now have an estimated 485,000 people, so half a million people, who those who are already affected by mental health disorders are now experiencing disruptions in their treatments. The trauma from the violence and the ongoing crisis has led to a big rise in psychosocial distress. So basically everybody is very, very distressed and suicide rates have increased. It's fair to say that the entire population is under the kind of mental stress that will lead to mental health disorders. So uh, it, it's it's uh, the most accurate thing I could say is basically everybody in Gaza is suffering, has got need for mental health care. In the occupied Palestinian territories, because of the conditions people were living under before the conflict, there were years of blockade and recurrent escalations, had already left the population under immense psychological distress. In 2020, we knew that at least uh, close on 200,000 adults had moderate or severe mental health disorders. We also knew that there were 300,000 children with varying levels of mental health issues. So we already had a population with a severe level of mental health um, uh, needs. We need a ceasefire. Uh, and we need, again, not just a ceasefire, but then for all the partners, all the experts to come in and work actively and energetically to help the people of Gaza recover.